Hi everyone. <laughs> My name is Janine and look who I got here. I'm Kelly. Hey everyone. And we're gonna do a DIY. Yeah, do it yourself Disney crap. Bring the magic to the home today. Yes! And it's going to be a Disney lantern. Like those fancy mason jars. So something you can do, super simple at home, or to add some magic to it, it's gonna be fabulous. What do we need to make the craft? I'm gonna super show simple. you right now. Okay, so the first step for our lantern is we're gonna open up the mason jars. Easy, didn't struggle, that's a plus. We're gonna take the acrylic paint. And pour it in. And one of these sponge brushes, bigger one. Obviously, don't do what I'm doing. Take oh. apart. Well, oh, you'll be squeezing for hours and nothing will happen. <laughs> it could be a very long craft project. It could be a very, very long craft project. You're going to take this and you're going to put a thin coat all over the place inside the jar. Can we do this with any color? Um, white preferred. I think white might give it a better um, glow. Okay. But um, if I'm doing like Little Mermaid, I would actually attempt to see if you can actually change the color more towards a lighter blue. Okay. Or maybe do different colored lights. You could do that. Now, I went high and low, everyone. High and low for um, what, the, the key light nice. candles. Really? You couldn't find those? But I wanted them in multicolor. Oh. And I could not get them. I didn't even know if they came in multicolor. I went to Michael's. I went to the dollar store. I went to Joann's and everybody was out of them. That's crazy. It smells like house paint. Don't sniff the paint. So here's one. What we should have did, well, if you mix your paint and you go and you put glitter in it and you mix it, um, you would actually have like fairy dust mm -hmm. in the middle of it. Did not think of that when I was at the store. Thought about it now. Okay. Not so good on an after effect, is it? Okay, look at your hand, all painted compared to okay. my one like dot of paint on my hand. Look at my hand. Now, <laughs> I'm not so brush. I'm not so neat in everything I do. I mean, if you want to see what I did to a gingerbread house, oh yeah, that one. Oh Kelly my God, wasn't that in was, that video. That was no, but it was that hysterical was to watch. So please watch it. It doesn't have to be Christmas to watch it. It's I'm gonna leave a link up below because me doing the Christmas craft, what I didn't do to this girl's house. Yeah, that didn't turn out. Still have not gotten invited back to do a second thing. I wonder why. Shocker. <laughs> See, Stop, easy. that was Anyone easy peasy lemon squeezy. I promise. Anyone can paint a jar. Now you gotta remember, inside, not the outside. No, inside. Now you gotta remember is that this has to dry for 30 minutes. So, so lunch, lunch. But after 30 minutes, now we're back with the jars. All good. They should look like this. Clean, good to go. Clean. Oh, Before we go, we put these silhouettes in there. We got to take our Spanish more. Now, what do you think about the Spanish oh, moss? Oh, yes. So, Spanish moss is neither Spanish nor moss. I can never remember what it's actually. So then what is, is. it? I don't, I can never remember, but I know because I have a friend who always, always says it's neither Spanish nor moss. Google it. I don't know what it is, but it's not Spanish, it's not moss. So. Just enough. It's just gonna hold the light. It's, it's just going to hold secure. the light. Oh, yep, that's warm up now. Like this one should do. Just like enough. God, it's messy, this stuff. Your moss. And there's blue. Okay, this is awesome. Next step is, what do you think, Kim? Silhouettes. Now, I am a Tinkerbell person, and I figured because we're using fairy lights, it's only appropriate that I throw Tinkerbell on my jar, so that's who I'll be using. Me. I'll be doing the Little Mermaid. Why? Because I gotta be different. And you're I a mermaid mean, fan. I'm a mermaid most fan. Are, which is fair. So we're gonna cut these things out. 
whipped up with some running. Uh, I'm not so good at this thing. Here's scissors. Unless you're really good with an X-Acto knife and knock yourself out. But I know my strengths. And using an X-Acto knife is not one of them. As you'll see. Oh, I didn't break that. My Tinkerbell has super fancy wings. And what you're going to do with your silhouettes is you're going to stick them into your jar and eventually end up gluing them in the jar. But I was really concerned that because her wings are so fancy that they wouldn't show through. But they show through perfectly. So I got my fancy Tinkerbell right here. I'm very excited though. Yeah, so use an X-Acto knife for a scissor. Whatever floats your boat for us. Scissors. It just seems to be working with scissors. You can take our mason jar and not the side that has the writing. If it yours actually does have the writing, use it the opposite side. So the side with no writing, like that. There you go. So we're gonna take our silhouettes that we cut out with our Zacco knife or the uh, scissors, and we're going to hot glue gun these guys straight in there. Try to center them up however you want. And glue on the black side, not the white, the black side, because that's what's gonna show. Yep. So, All right, now we're gonna glue our silhouette on. Just talk to that so I'm just gonna do glue here. Watch, I'm probably gonna burn myself too on our feet. Silhouette in, set to go. So, I don't know if you can see this, but Little Mermaid right over here with oh, flounder. Cute. And Sebastian. Let's see. And what do you got going on? Oh, I like that. Just my Tinkerbell. There, and she's got goes. Tinkerbell. And when you go to put it in, just remember that you are putting it in the front of it, not the back. Yes. The front. Okay. And the glue dries pretty quick. Like it sticks on it pretty quick. So you kind of got to think about where you're going to place it because once you place it, you can't pick it up. Yeah. I noticed that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have these candles. Tea lights. Not candles, don't burn things down. A little tea lights. And all these products were basically bought from the dollar store. So now that you put your tea light in, we're going to take our caps that we had. You can put your lid on like that. And then we have twine. And the good thing is, is since that we had scissors. So what you're gonna do is take it, the front of it, tie it like this. I would come around again. And just keep on going around like that. Yeah, I can't go around too much. My Tinkerbell is take up space. What make it too tight? And there's a reason why. is because you're going to want to take your ivory and be able to... Um, nest it underneath a little bit so if you make it too tight it's not going to want to um sit you can tie a bow if you don't want to tie a bow you don't have to you can actually cut it off and then just try to tuck it underneath but i'm going to try to make a bow that's nice i'm not i'm just cutting mine and i'm going to add a little bit of glue where the string ends Mine actually has a bow on it. I don't know if you can see it, but no bow. No bow. Not a bow person. So the know. next thing is really? I got this from the dollar store. The cool thing about the one that I actually got oops, is from the dollar store is they actually wind, they turn in. So um I think I the reason why I bought it that way because the jar is kind of like round. So I thought it would be easy to work with. No, that was hard. But they do actually have in the dollar store the other type. The other type? Yeah. The, the ones type. that are like on 
Oh, almost that's like, like a, a stick. Almost, yeah, like like a flower yeah. stick. So once you get your leaves on, they're like this. The other thing is, is that these caps, they come apart. What you can do is you can possibly spray paint them to any color you want. Oh yeah, I think so. You can put ribbon on them. So instead of doing them the way we did down here, you can put the ribbon on the top on this so that when you go to put it on there, um, they'd be different colors. Yeah, I mean, if you want to leave the lid on, you don't really have to. No, you don't have to leave the lid on. They look cute just like this. Okay. Once you have everything glued, everything glued set. and placed and set of your twine and your um, ivory, you can also put fake flowers on. I'm gonna take your lights and you're gonna put them in there. Get you. What do they call these? Fairy lights. Yeah, fairy lights. Here's my teacher bell. They kind of look like that. Look yeah. really cool. So there's the Ariel with the flounder and Sebastian. And, and Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Now, you don't have to put the lids on. Yeah, I don't think I want to, but I'm going to see what it looks like. So, you can, you don't have to. So, um, I think it's a great craft for... For anybody. For anybody. I mean, it's, it's super easy. Super easy. Anybody can do it. Um, yeah. I mean, it took I mean if you have kids minutes. still in it, I would supervise them because you do have a hot glue gun. Yeah, for so sure. So things can get a little out of control. But I would recommend this craft. And it's it's a great even a present for someone. Yeah. So or you could just um, have like on your mantle, on your fireplace, wherever you need a nightlight. Maybe the kids want to make their own nightlight. That's definitely a way to do it. Because I'm probably going to make one of these in my bathroom, to be honest. So if you like the video, please subscribe and hit like the, and comment below and hit the bell button. So, and that's see it. you in the next video.